Hello, I'm Meta from Smart Button. In this video, I want to explain how to create Form Builder button. Form Builder button is used for getting information from your users. If you want to register your users in a special course and you need special information from your users, or you have a restaurant and you want that your customers order the food or drinks with a bot, I suggest you to create this button. Okay, let's start. Here you enter your information, email, password, and click on sign in. Yeah. In home page, um, you can see bot buttons. I click on it. Then click on new. Create form builder button. In these sections, we should enter the information about our button. For example, here we should enter button title. I write register parent button you determine where your button will be placed for example in a start menu or under the set of the other basic button I choose a start button and here we have reply type manual text or web service Manual text, it means that I write a message here and it will be sent to your users after they are done with this button. I change it to web service. If you're a developer, you can write your web service and its link here. So your user's information will be sent to this address and you can do a special process on it. Number of permissions allowed. Default number is zero. It means that your users can answer your questions as many times as they want. If I change it to one, it means that your users can answer your question just one time. Status. When it is enabled, all your users can see this button. Access user groups. When it is all, it means that all your groups can see your form builder button. And if you change it to allowed groups, it means that the special groups of users can see this button. If you don't know how to create group, I suggest you to watch tutorial video about that. Allowed users. If I change it to registered users, only registered users can see this button. Receive confirmation. It means that when your users are done with this button, our bot will send a message to them in last section, we should define our questions. For example, here we have question title. And I write, for example, full name. Here we define how should our users answer our questions. For example, I choose message. Remember that your users can answer your questions only by message. They can't answer any other way. Validation type. Here we have for example, English character, number, and the others. My question title is full name, and I want to ask my users their names. Okay, and I specify English character here. If my question is, for example, phone number, validation type, change to number. Response length. Here we specify the length of the answers. For example, one character, two, three, four, five. Bot question type. We specify the type of our bot question. For example, my question is full name and I choose message here. Okay. Here we add button content. My next question is course title, user response type message, validation type English character, bot question type message and I type here my question. Please select the course you need. Here I add some course here like PHP, Android, C++ and click on add button content. And my third question title is, for example, passport. User response type, photo. I choose photo here. What question type is mess? And I write here, please send your passport photo. Add button content. Question title. For my last question, I choose a title like photo. User response type. I select all. 
It means that your users can answer via photo, message, or any type they want. Bot question type, message, and bot question. Please send you the photo of yourself. I define a button here. I don't have photo. And I add, add button content. When your users don't have photo, they can click on, I don't have photo. Okay, my question's finished. Open your telegram and uh, go to your bot, write a slash start. Now you can see my buttons and training course. I click on training course. What is your name? Sample Sara. Please enter the course unit. PHP. Please send your passport photo here. You can import your photos. We don't need caption. Send. Please send the photo of yourself. Here we have some options. I don't have photo or I can import my photo here or um, next step. Why we have this option here? Because in panel, in user response type, I chose all. It allows to your users to skip this question. Here I received information comfort and my information is correct. I click on yes and Thanks for answering. Finally, if you want to edit our buttons, we should click on bot buttons. I click on the register button that I've created. Payment setting. We have two options here, free and money. When I click on money, I can see this section. Type get money, optional or forced. Forced means your users must pay money if they want to fill out this form. Price, you can specify price here. And the merchant ID, you can enter your merchant ID here. Other setting, button size, a small size and large size. It's better to change it to small size. Here you should add your operator or operators. Here you allow your operators to answer. Then your operators can receive the files and maps and they have ability to download excel file click on edit finally you can see who entered to your bot here i click on it when you click on report you can have the list of them thank you for being with us until the end of this video